you know what? My phone started going off, sorry. Why are you calling us Danny? Are you Daniel? I'm Daniel as I'm well. I'm Daniel as well, yeah. You're both Daniels? Yeah, we're both Daniels, man. I don't get touchy about it, I'm just trying to be yeah, silly to get I'm not bothered with you at all. I'm not really like an Andy Cole, Andrew kind of guy. <coughs> I'm, yeah. I'm Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Um, I swear I just turned my phone off, look. This is just unprofessional. It's off. Alright, cool. See ya. It's off. Go on. Off. Yeah, I'm Daniel, but... Daniel and Daniel, thank you for joining us on FA TV. Uh, I just want to reflect on both of your summers. Obviously, I was delighted to get picked to go to the Euros and it was a, obviously a major experience for me to go to a tournament and play with the England senior, senior sides and I got um, May 4 starts there and I had a really good time and I'm just looking forward to improving on that. Obviously, you want to be scoring goals as a striker and to score the goals um, against Belgium and then to go into the Sweden game and get my first goal in a major competition, I was delighted with that. Daniel, you were obviously part of Team GB in the Olympics. I mean, that must have been completely different as, as an experience, but what are your thoughts on it now, looking back? It was a great experience um, to be part of, you know. Um, obviously, I had the meningitis before that, so to, to actually get there and to be involved in it was, was great. And it's a complete different occasion to what people thought it would be like. And, you know, it was more about being part of Team GB and being an athlete as opposed to being just a footballer. So it was great to be there and I'm, I'm delighted I did it. Would you be hoping that there'd be a, a Team GB football side for men and women's again in, in the future, if, if that's possible? I hope so, because I'd certainly never turn the opportunity down to go again. We, we're at the start of a, a World Cup qualifying campaign. If we're successful, it'll, there'll be a tournament in Brazil at the end of it. How excited are you both in, 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 at the start of this World Cup campaign? I'm hugely excited because, you know, it's going to be the first World Cup that I'd be involved in if I do get the chance to go. And um, it's certainly something that you've always dreamed of as a kid to be involved in and something that people dream of doing. So, as I say, it'd be great to be there and to, to help the team to actually qualify and then from there, hopefully, to be in the actual squad would be amazing. So you were both part of the Under-21s last summer um, together. I mean, can you both just tell us about your relationship both on the pitch and off the pitch? What, what, what was it like last summer being, being representing England and, and playing up front together? I thought it was great. Um, we played each other, played with each other from, from before that um, and we've had a, a partnership going for, for a while now so it's when, he, when we play together I kind of know the runs that um, Wilbers will make and he would know the same runs I will make and when you get on the field of play and you're playing against opposition it's always it's always great to play with somebody that you know knows how, how you go about your, your business on the field and, and you can work together as a partnership. Do you think you're quite similar in a way in terms of what you've got as players? I don't think we are personally but a lot of pe people make comparisons which I don't think feels right because because we're around the same age group, it seems as if it's normal for people to say that we're the similar type of player. But for myself, last season I was on the wing, Welbs was up front. The season before that, when I was at Bolton, I was up front, Welbs was on the wing at Sunderland. So people always make uh, comparisons between yeah. us and say, oh, who scored the most goals, who done this, who done that. For me, I just love playing with Welbs. I wish him the best when he's at his club and I'm sure it's the same for myself. And I don't feel that the comparisons are, are um, granted because I feel as if we, we aren't the same player. I feel, feel we, we play with each other and we bring the best out in each other. In terms of the goals you got the, over the summer, out of the two goals that you scored, which, which do you feel was you were more pleased with? Um, I, f I prefer the goal against uh, Uruguay, to be honest. I mean, the one in, the one in, in Wembley, I feel it was, a, it was a good goal and it's something that you can try and, you know, you, you want to try and score good goals like that. But I feel... The poachers' goals are the ones that are special because even though they're not maybe as beautiful on the eye, it's a goal and it, it means just as much. So for myself, I, I like scoring poachers' goals because I feel if you get those goals, you probably score more. I think the one against Sweden meant more, obviously. To, it was in the major competition as well, but I, was, I think I was pretty happy with both of them really. And um, a goal's a goal and just trying to get as many as you can. And just in terms of this is the first of 10 on Friday night, 10 qualifiers, how important is it to get off to a good start? Hugely important. Um, you know, I think you always don't want to lose your first game, whether it be in a, a competitive competition or a qualifying competition, to get to the competition. And it's important to get off to a good start, whether it be a point or a win. But against all opposition, it's going to be difficult and we can't underestimate Moldova because we do know that they will have quality players because the players you don't know about, they're the ones you worry about because you never know what they're going to be like on the day.